The formulas that enable us to figure pipe dimensions and offset angles are essentially a type of shorthand for mathematic laws. Working out the formulas is mostly a matter of plugging in measurements and numbers which represent angles. You do not have to be a math whiz. If you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, you should have no problem learning how to calculate piping offsets. Let's get started. As we've said, a piping offset forms a right triangle. The hypotenuse is formed by the piece of pipe, and the base of the triangle is formed by a straight line along the original pipe route. This represents the dimension from the beginning of the offset to the fitting at the other end of the offset. The side of the triangle is an imaginary line from the center line of the original pipe run to the center line of the new pipe route. Why is this significant? Well, the relationships between the angles and the side dimensions of right triangles make up the branch of mathematics known as trigonometry. These relationships, or ratios, are known as trigonometric, or trig, functions, and they provide the constants used in piping offset formulas. Constants are simply numeric representations of the trig functions, and they greatly simplify piping offset calculations. The formulas we'll use throughout this program are simplified versions of these trig functions. In these formulas, Opposite means the side opposite angle A. Adjacent is the side next to angle A, but not the hypotenuse, which is the angled part of a right triangle. Because a piping offset forms a triangle, we can use those trig functions and constants to accurately calculate pipe dimensions and exact angles necessary for piping offsets. But in order to figure piping offsets, you must first understand the concept of degrees as it applies to direction. The idea of directional angles or degrees is based on a familiar shape, the circle. There are 360 degrees in a circle. Imagine you're standing in the center of a circle looking outward. Zero degrees is at the top or 12 o'clock position of the circle. 90 degrees is at the 3 o'clock position. 180 degrees is at the 6 o'clock position, and 270 degrees is at the 9 o'clock position.